What's good everyone and welcome back to another video. This is kind of a second part to a previous video I made about my favorite Resident Evil character Leon Kennedy, explaining why his next Resident Evil game when he returns should be his last. Now I'm not going to get too deep into talking about that video so I'm going to leave a link in the description down below so you guys can watch that video. And you guys can catch up to what I'm trying to say in this video. At the end of the video however, I asked you guys a certain question about Leon and that is what game he should return in, Resident Evil 9? or Resident Evil Revelations 3. This is going to be me explaining how Leon can be a star or a co-star in both games and FYI, he can't star in both games because, you know, that would be a little bit too much. But before we get into the topic guys, a huge like would be appreciated on this video. Hitting the subscribe button would also be very appreciated. We are very close to 500 subscribers. We just passed 450, so thank you guys for 450 subscribers. But with that out of the way, be sure to like the video, subscribe, and let's get right into the video. Resident Evil Revelations 3. Of all the four main characters, Leon is the only one that hasn't starred or appeared in a Revelations game, and I think the third one would be the best game for Leon to return in. Reason number one? Well, I just said it. <laughs> but no nonetheless guys, Re Resident Evil Revelations 3 has supposedly been in the works for quite some time. The game was originally supposed to be called Resident Evil Outrage, and surprisingly the game has been cancelled, but another interesting thing is that it was never Revelations 3. Outrage was a supposed multiplayer game. I don't know what the game was supposed to be similar to, but this part right here is just a rumor, so take it this with a grain of salt. Rumor has it that there is an RE Switch game that is still in development, and apparently that RE Switch project is the supposed Revelations 3 game with Rebecca Chambers. Again, take it with a grain of salt because I don't know if it's cancelled or still in development. I'm not the leaker here. But let's say that this game does end up getting released. Enter Leon Kennedy, teaming up with Rebecca Chambers, a nice callback from Resident Evil Vendetta. Now both Revelations games that have released have a trend. Both games go back into time. Revelations 1 released in 2012 but took place in 2005, and Revelations 2 released in 2015 taking place in 2012-2013. Leon would basically be Rebecca's partner in some parts of the game, while Leon having his own story to the game as well very similar to Barry Burton in Revelations 2 or Chris in Revelations 1. And there is another trend or fact that I do want to talk about, and this is mostly the, arguably the most important part. Every Resident Evil game Leon has appeared in that is canon in the timeline, there is always that one special someone that he has encountered. Enter Ada Wong. Leon would still carry on about whatever his mission is about, having a key role in Rebecca's story and vice versa for Rebecca having a key role in Leon's story, but the main thing people want to see Leon the reason why people want to see Leon in a new Resident Evil game is so he can have the perfect send-off for his story in the Resident Evil timeline, escaping from the B.O.W. slash zombie world, and living happily ever with Ada Wong. Since I know at least 98% of the RE fanbase don't want Leon killed off or even Ada as well. Now, let's say Revelations 3 doesn't exist, and it was just a really bad case of Resident Evil fans overhyping themselves. Let's replace Revelations 3 with Resident Evil 9. I know what you're thinking about right now. Why would I say Leon should return in Resident Evil 9 if I made a whole video about Jill Valentine returning in Resident Evil 9? Hear me out. In case anyone doesn't know this crazy Resident Evil fact, Jill and Leon have never met in the Resident Evil timeline canonically speaking. RE9 would be a great game for both of them to possibly team up or somehow connect with each other while having their own stories. Well-known Resident Evil leaker Dust Gollum stated a while ago saying Resident Evil 9 is Capcom's most ambitious project as of right now, and apparently this is the final game of the Ethan Winters family trilogy, so it is almost guaranteed that Rosemary Winters will play a major role in this game. Let's just say Chris is extremely busy or taking some time off. Let's put Leon in RE9 alongside Jill. I think it would be very good for both characters to meet, and it would be great fan service as well, but in terms of Leon's story, it would basically have the be the same things I said about in Revelations 3, and the same ending, Ada Wong having an important role in her own in Leon's story in RE9, and both of them getting the send-offs, the perfect send-offs I should say, as I explained previously in this video. Anyways guys, comment down below what you guys, what game you think Leon should return in, because every OG RE character needs a good send-off, so he's gonna have to get a, become, or a come back in a new Resident Evil game. I apologize for stuttering. Uh, I don't have the best editing equipment right now, but don't worry, I will soon. The stuttering will stop sooner rather than later. Trust me, guys, don't worry about that. Also, another question for you guys before we sign off. 
what voice actor do you guys want to see return as Leon? Nick Apostolides, Matthew Mercer, or Paul Mercier? For me, I would take Paul or Matt. No disrespect to Nick, he's a phenomenal voice actor, but I'm giving the keys to Paul or Matt any day, any time, any minute of the week, any minute of the day. You guys know exactly what the fuck I'm talking about over here. But nonetheless, guys, that is enough of me rambling on today. Damn, this is actually surprisingly a short video, only five minutes long. Wow. But nonetheless, guys, um, thank you guys for watching for today's video, I should say. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like on the video. Be sure to hit the subscribe button as well. Our main goal is 1,000 subscribers at the end of 2022. And we would love to hit 500 subscribers by at least the beginning of March. Since I don't think we'll be able to hit 500 at the end of February. Since we're on the 26th and we only have two days left. But nonetheless guys, I hope you guys have yourselves a good day, good night, and a good sleep. Take care and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out and much love.